This is a video on doing unit conversions when your units have powers, which can lead to some errors when you first do it, but with some experience, no problem. The example I'm going to do is how many liters are there in a barrel of oil? So if I look up what a definition of a liter is, I find that a liter is a volume and it's equal to one cubic decimeter. A decimeter is one tenth of a meter. How do we define a barrel of oil? A barrel of oil is also a volume. Here's oil barrel and it's defined to be 42 gallons. Okay, so what's a gallon? A gallon is defined to be 231 cubic inches. Okay, so now I have cubic inches and I want to get that into the metric system and I know that conversion, one inch, is 2.54 centimeters and then I know the conversion between decimeter and centimeter. So it looks like I can get from barrels to gallons to cubic inches to cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters, which is a liter. So note that we have different powers going on here. We're dealing with volumes. Dimension of volume is cubic length. And so things like liters, gallons, and oil barrels are in fact single units of volume, but they're defined in terms of lengths which are taken to the third power. I'm going to start with one oil barrel and multiply it by a ratio made from the above conversion such that the oil barrel unit cancels. And that would be 42 gallons divided by one oil barrel. So that's going to get me into units of gallons and I want to convert that into uh, cubic inches using that conversion so I can make a ratio such that the gallons cancel 231 inches cubed divided by one gallon. So that gets me into inches cubed and now I'm going to get into centimeters and so 2.54 centimeters divided by one inch. And so now you can see the problem, which is here I have inches to the first power and here's inches cubed, which means I have to take this whole, we have to cube this whole thing, which is fine. It's equal to the number one. The number one cubed is still the number one. So mathematically it's all okay, but I need to take this whole thing to the third power so I can get inches cubed, which will give me centimeters cubed. So now I convert centimeters. So one decimeter is 10 centimeters. That needs to be cubed. And then finally I have one liter over one decimeter cubed. The trick is that everything inside this ratio is taken to the third power. So this is 2.54 cubed centimeters cubed. There's a one cube that doesn't matter, inches cubed. And so this is one cubed decimeter cubed, one cubed centimeter cubed. So now when I cancel, gallons cancel here, oil barrel cancels there, inches cubed cancels inches cubed, centimeters cubed cancels centimeters cubed, decimeters cubed cancels decimeters cubed. And so when I multiply this out, I'll get 42 times 231 times 2.54 cubed and then all divided by 10, sorry, this is 10 cubed, which is 1,000. And when I do that all, I get 159 liters. These values right here, when you have powers, you have to take the actual number to that power as well.